How did we get here? And why? I mean, literally, here, in this forest. And why? Why did we choose this place? What about the forest is so appealing that we, among millions of others, feel the need to drop everything and go camping, to put it simply? What made us sell everything, our dream home, and cars, get rid of nearly all our stuff, quit a job, and choose a path less traveled? What does it mean to be grounded, and why do we flop to nature to find it? Let's go back a little further than the 20th, or even the 19th century. People, humans, homo sapiens, have been living, thriving, and surviving in nature for two to three hundred thousand years. Our ancestors have been on the earth for even longer than that, millions of years predating our existence. Way before there were cell phones, computers, TVs, radio signal, GPS, YouTube, heating, cooling, electricity, and all of the modern day conveniences that are supposed to make our lives quote unquote easier. Why then do we still flock to the forest and feel the need to rough it for a couple days? Why do we crave a still bloody medium rare steak? Why do we feel so drawn to fire? Why does the sand and grass feel so good between our barefoot toes? Why does dinner always taste better when cooked and eaten outside? What is it about the campfire that brings us comfort and has the ability to bring people together and strengthen bonds? Have we really evolved so much since then that people have forgot about these things? I don't think so. Is it in our DNA? What does our primal brain really want? And what do you think our ancestors would say if they walked the earth today? Would they delight in the smart device that reminds us to pay our bills on time? Or bask in the convenience of simply pushing a button to heat up our food? Or better yet, marvel at the ease of which we even get our food? There's a saying, less is more. We've all heard it. What does it really mean though? It's not until recent times, after seriously downsizing a family of four to an 80 square foot van, that I can honestly say I understand it. Now I understand it. And I believe it. The noise of everyday life can be so loud, especially with today's societal norms, that I don't even think we can hear our primal thoughts anymore. We feel like we have to prove ourselves to others, keep up with the Joneses, get that promotion, make a certain figured salary, drive a nice car and have the latest greatest gadgets or toys to be happy, right? I've been there. We had it all. But were we really happy? We've come to realize things are just that. Things. Tangible items that mostly take up space and clutter your mind. I'll admit it though, when you declutter your life, and mind, it can be a bit scary at first, being left with only your thoughts. You know, it's funny, when you have so much less stuff to worry about, you can really begin to think more. You think about life, goals, ambitions, purpose, and what's really important to you. When you are submerged deep in a forest of pines, away from distraction, away from self-service, away from society, and deep in your thoughts, a strange thing begins to happen. You connect with yourself, with your family, with like-minded strangers, 
with nature, with God, with the universe. You start to crave less material things, but instead crave more of the natural world. Like the fire that brings us warmth, comfort, and fuels our spirit to thrive. Like the rivers and streams that revive us by washing away our old dirt and cares and quench our thirst. Like the trees and the caves that shade us and protect against harsh weather. There's nothing more empowering, but also humbling, than standing on a mountaintop or the edge of a canyon to remind us that we are not in control. Mother Nature will always have her way, no matter what happens in the office next week. The abundance of symbiotic relationships we find in nature reminds us that we too need nature. We depend on it. We rely on it. It is in our DNA. There's so many metaphors for life found out here, from harsh truths to enlightenment. When we're in nature, and I mean really in it, our primal instincts come to life. We sync back up with the natural world the way our ancestors did. Our sleep is better, our thoughts are clearer, we eat less, we feel more, and worry less. We're able to truly be present and appreciate the beauty and the simple things, like being lulled to sleep by a songbird while lying in the hammock, or the smell of a campfire that infiltrates every fiber of being that it lingers for days, or teaching our kids basic life skills, like making such a fire, or cooking, fishing, and hunting, navigation, Or maybe it's just being able to witness your kids being kids. It's refreshing. And it brings us happiness. The kind of happiness that evaded us when we were too busy with work and all of the adult things that consumed our lives. What are you doing, mate? Throw it in the dam so our bones, boats don't go down there. Okay, cool. Now, we can be happy. We can be present. Less really is more. What we've lost in material things, we've gained in a sense of fulfillment. Our cups are full. Our family bond is stronger now than it ever was. And that truly is priceless. We've all heard the quote, the mountains are calling and I must go. John Muir has been made famous not only for his efforts as a founding father of our national park system, but also for his thoughts as an author that resonate so deeply with us even hundreds of years since his passing in the early 1900s. His work lives on today. You've seen his quotes on t-shirts, bumpers, stickers, memes, mugs, everywhere, you name it. His words strike a chord so deep in my soul that it's uncanny how much I can relate in the year 2021. We understand that this lifestyle is not for everyone. We understand not everyone will relate to us or even agree with our decisions, and that's just fine. We certainly aren't suggesting that you take as dramatic action as we have, but rather our intentions are to provoke some thought, maybe awaken those primal instincts that have been dormant now for quite some time. 
and remind you that tomorrow is not promised. There's more to life than chasing the dollar. So ask yourself, when's the last time that you were truly happy? Maybe it's time for a camping trip. <laughs>